Let's navigate to where we want our project and we'll create it using Composer. Uh, we'll call it Tickets and this will take a while so uh, I'm just going to pause the video and I'll be back shortly. So the project has been created in um, folder tickets, so we're going to go into tickets, we're going to start up the server, PHP Artisan Serve, and then fire up a browser. We're going to test that everything is working. So let's go to the Laravel homepage. The welcome page is being served up, um, so everything looks good so far. Let's now create our database. I'm using PHP My Admin, so I'm just going to sign on. Uh, for consistency, I'm going to call the database uh, the same name as the project. I'm going to call it Tickets, but you can actually call it anything you want. Um, within PHP My Admin, I'm not going to create our tables. We're going to use migrations for that. So uh, this is where we're going to leave. Um, PHP my admin and before we go any further I'm going to create a new project in Zend tickets and in here I'm going to go to the .env file and put in the database credentials. So the database is called tickets. My password, sorry, the username is root. And I'm using a blank password. Obviously, you'd, you wouldn't have a blank password if it was production. With the database credentials saved, we're now going to create our first model. So control C will stop the server. Uh, we're going to need a model for a ticket, so PHP Artisan make model ticket. That will make a model, but we also want a migration, so I'm going to use the modifier M for migration. And we also want a controller, so we could use C to create a ticket controller, but we're going to create a resourceful controller so I'm going to put an R and press enter on that. So it says um, it's created a migration and it's created the controller successfully. Let's go into the project and in app HTTP controllers, we can see our ticket controller. And because it's a resourceful controller, we've got all the resourceful methods like index, create, store, etc. Closing that down, we've also got a migration in database migrations create tickets table. So this will create our tickets table. We've got the default auto incrementing ID and we've also got a couple of timestamps, one for created at and the other for updated at. So uh, you get those with every migration that you create, but we need some extra columns for our ticket. We need a, a string for the summary. Each ticket will have a summary and we also need a fuller description. So we'll use a text for that description and we're also going to add a status column save that. If we now run our migrations that should create our tables for us. So PHP artisan spell it right migrate so syntax error or access violation the specified key was too long. The problem is something to do with um, the way databases or MySQL holds emojis, I believe. I don't really understand it. Um, I do have a solution. 
uh, I just don't know why it works. So let's just do the solution. Um, in app providers, app service provider, uh, in the boot function, we need this. And I'll just uh, get the use statement in there. Save that. Now, the failed migration will have created um, these tables, so we're going to get rid of those first. Let's drop. Okay. And with this modification we made to App Service Provider, we will run our migrations again. And this time uh, the tables are created successfully. Let's check that that really is the case by going to PHP My Admin and within the tickets database we've got the usual migrations, password, reset and users tables that you get with every Laravel installation. But we've also got the tickets table that we created with our migration. So let's just have a look at that. Uh, by default you get the uh, auto incrementing ID the created at timestamp, the updated at timestamp, but we also get the summary, description and status that we manually defined in our migration.